Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to my channel. For today's VBOTS tutorial video, we'll be learning how to use a LiDAR in VBOTS. I'll be writing the controller code in Python. If you're looking for controller code in other programming languages such as C or C++, look for link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's start by creating a new project. I'm going on the menu bar wizards, new project directory. Click continue and then give a name to your VBOTS project. And click continue. Make sure to select add a rectangular arena. And you can also name your world if you want to. Click continue and click done. Let's start by adding a robot to our world. I'm going to be using a custom differential drive robot that I have built in a previous video. You can download this robot from the link in the description below and make sure to add it to the proto folder of your project. Next, click add and make sure to keep saving your work. We're going to add a LiDAR to this robot. To modify, go on the VBOT scene tree, click on the robot and right click and select convert to base nodes. Under robot, children, this is where we will be adding a LiDAR. Before adding the LiDAR to VBOT's world, I'm going to add a small piece of solid object to act as the mount. I'm simply going to copy and paste the eye solid. Then click on it and change the transformation. Make X and Z equal to 0 and Y equal to 0 0.082. And as you can see in the VBOTS world, we added a small blue object on top of the robot. Make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next, let's add the LiDAR. Click on the plus sign under base nodes. Select LiDAR and click Add. Next, under LiDAR, we will change the translation. Anytime you add a node in the VBOTS world, it will by default go to 000. So let's change the LiDAR for Y equal to 0.084 meters and click Save. You might not be able to see a lot right now. So to be able to see the LiDAR rays, go on View, Optional Rendering, and select show LiDAR ray paths. With this, you should be able to see these gray lines which shows where our LiDAR is pointing. Next, we'll change the rotation. I'm going to keep Y equal to 1 and change the angle to be 3.14 radians. And as you can see, the rays have moved. Make sure to keep clicking save. Now let's understand some of the other features inside this. For example, number of layers 4. This shows how many layers of LiDAR scan will exist. So for now, let's make it 1 and click enter. As you can see, we went from 4 to 1 layer of LiDAR. And within each layer, you will have multiple LiDAR rays. We can change this number of rays through horizontal resolution which at the moment is 512. Let's say we make it 128. As you can see, it did not make it narrow. This simply means that now there are 128 rays in this entire field of view. To make it less or more, we change field of view. So for example, let's make this 3.14. As you can see, it's now seeing 108 degrees. And within this 108 degrees, there'll be 128 rays. Let's bring it back to what it was. And make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next is your min range and your max range. So if I zoom out right now, it can see up to one unit. Let's change that to 0.1. And as you can see, it became closer. Next is type. There's fixed, 
and rotation. Fixed meaning it will always see in the same direction. With rotating, the LiDAR will keep rotating along its axis. For now, let's keep it at fixed. You can explore other options and change them to meet your needs. With that, let's move to the controller code. In this video, I'm writing the VBOTS controller code in Python. If you're looking for the controller code for LiDAR in VBOTS in another programming languages, look for the links in the description below. To add a controller code in VBOTS, go to the menu bar, Wizards, and click on New Robot Controller. Click Continue. Choose the programming language and click Continue. Give a name to your controller and click continue. Make sure to select open my controller LiDAR in text editor and click done. As you can see, it will create a default controller code for you with helpful instructions on how to write the code. I'm gonna make a few changes to put my code into a function. If you're new to writing controller code in VBOTS, I'd recommend you check out my earlier videos where I go into details on how to write it. For this video, I'll be focusing on how to write the controller code for LiDAR. For my initial setup, I'm creating two motor instances, left and right motor for the two motors on my robot. I'm also setting the position to infinity and velocity to zero. Because we're going to focus on LiDARs, for now I'm simply driving the robot straight by setting both the velocities as same. Make sure to keep saving your VBOTS controller code. To use the LiDAR, we will need to know the name of our LiDAR. If you go back to the VBOTS scene tree, under Robot, Children, LiDAR, you'll find an option called Name, which currently says LiDAR. If you want, you can change it to something else. For now, I'm keeping it LiDAR. Let's go back to our VBOTS controller code. We'll start by initializing the LiDAR. Similar to other sensors, you'll use getLiDAR function to create an instance of LiDAR and then use time step to enable it. Next, we'll be reading the LiDAR values. Because we only have one layer, we'll simply use get range image function to get all the values. As I mentioned before, within a LiDAR layer, you will have multiple rays. In this range image, you will essentially get a list of values for each of those rays for a given scan. 
To get a sense of how they look, let's simply print the values. Make sure to save your VBOTS controller code. Next, in our VBOTS world, we'll go to the scene tree. Under robot, look for an option called controller. Click select and then select the controller we just wrote from the list. Click OK and make sure to save your VBOTS world. Now let's run the simulation to see what it looks like. Click on the play button. As you can see, it dumped a lot of data. As you can see in our scene tree, our LiDAR has a horizontal resolution of 512. So essentially, each scan has 512 values. To get a better sense of things, let's only print the first five values. I'm also adding a box to our VBOTS world. Click on the plus sign, type box, select the wooden box and click add. As you can see, it's a really big box. So under wooden box on the scene tree, I'm going to change the size to 0.1 meters. And then using the arrows to move it around. As you can see, I have put it in the path of the LiDAR. Let me show you one other view that you can get in the VBOT simulation world. Make sure to reset your world. On your menu bar, click on View, Optional Rendering and click on Show LiDAR Point Clouds. Next, let's run the simulation to see what happens. As you can see, we cannot see the point cloud. This is because we need to enable the point cloud for our LiDAR to be able to see it. So click reset on your simulation and go back to your VBOTS controller code. We'll use enable point cloud function to enable the point cloud for our LiDAR. Make sure to save your VBOTS controller code and let's also clear the console. And let's run the simulation. As you can see, we can now see this point cloud. And if you look closer to the box, you can see the rays are blocked by the box and then area behind the box is not seen. Also, we are now only seeing the first five values in our scan. As I continue to run the simulation, once the robot moves forward, you can see the values change from 0.3 to 0.5. Each of this value represents the distance between an object and the source of LiDAR for each of those rays. And this is how you use a LiDAR in VBOTS. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.